Hey everyone, Chef Hawks here again. So right now I've got a couple of things cooking up over here. We've got some onions that are starting to braise up nicely. Um, I've got some ground beef which is cooking up uh, with some taco seasoning in there. Uh, I've got some flour tortillas and we're going to make some quesadillas. So my ground beef is just about finished up over here. It's got some taco seasoning on it so it's all nice and spiced up with some nice aromatic spice to it. And then my onions, I have sliced onions. And so these, I'm actually starting to cook them down. They've been sweating down, and now I'm going to allow them to start to caramelize. We have everything together, ready to go. So let's put our quesadilla together. So first of all, we're going to take one of our flour tortillas. And I like to start off with cheese. I like to have it good and cheesy on both sides. It helps everything to melt together. We're just doing everything on one side. We're going to take our beef. You can use chicken in these as well, though. You can even use some tofu or um, just have a completely veggie one if you like. Don't be tempted to overfill. This is one big thing. This is not a burrito. Quesadilla should be uh, something that will lie flat. I've got some of my caramelized onions. Drop those on there. And now I can add some other things on there as well. I've got things like my uh, jalapenos that are straight out of the garden as well. But for today, I'm just going to go right like this. I'm going to fold this in half. I'm just going to pack it down a touch just to make sure that it's evenly distributing all of that, uh, all of that in there. Oh, I almost forgot. I need a little more, a little more cheese in there. I definitely want all this to completely stick together. And now. I'm using my George Foreman grill here, uh, but if you have a panini press, um, then that works wonderfully as well. Or if you don't have either of those, you can just use a hot skillet. You just have to turn it in that case. In this case, I like the fact that I can do this, and I'll just plop it down for a couple of moments. About two minutes from now, this will be all ready to go. Nice and crisp on the outside, soft on the inside. And now we just have to Take this one out. You can see it's got some nice grill marks on there. Everything is heated all the way through. It's got a nice crisp edge to it. And just cut this through. Got a great snack ready for you.